welcome back to my channel guys and welcome back to my kitchen so with thanksgiving right around the corner what is a thanksgiving day plate without cranberry sauce i know around the holidays everyone feels like oh, i'm gonna get off track and even if you do that's okay but if you want to make sure that you stay on track but you still want that cranberry sauce on your plate you've come to the right video because today we're gonna do sugar-free keto friendly cranberry sauce. Now let's get to it. The first thing you want to start with is a 12 ounce bag of fresh cranberries. Can you use frozen? Of course you can, but I do suggest using fresh. I think it tastes better. I think the texture comes out better. Uh, this time of year, you can find these at any grocery store. So let's start there. What you're going to do is grab a saucepan and let's get to it. So I went ahead and just rinsed these off and put them right in the saucepan. Now I'm just going to add about a quarter cup of water and turn our heat to medium high. Now, typically when you make cranberry sauce, uh, I added about a quarter cup of water. That would typically be orange juice. Now, instead of orange juice because of the sugars in it, I am going to use the uh, zest of an orange. Now, you can open this up and feed the orange to the kiddos, but we are going to use the zest instead of the juice. When you're doing this, try not to get all the way down to the white part of the rind because that part gets very bitter. We just want the very outer part of the orange. Now you're going to start to see the cranberries start to pop. Again, I have my heat on medium high. I'm just going to keep mixing them around. They're starting to burst open now. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of sweetener. I'm going to use erythritol, but use whatever granulated sweetener that works well with you and what you enjoy. And just give it a mix. And now we're just going to keep simmering this until we have a beautiful cranberry sauce. It's literally just that easy. Look at how gorgeous this cranberry sauce is. And for this, there's absolutely no need for xanthan gum to thicken it up. It's gonna automatically get nice and thick like that. Now, it's at this point that you can kind of taste test it to see what fits into your flavor profile, right? Is it sweet enough? Do you wanna add something to it? You can add vanilla extract. You can add a dash of cinnamon. You can add both of those things. You can add a uh, fresh thyme to give it kind of a different flavor profile. This stuff is awesome on a Thanksgiving day plate. It is awesome on a sandwich, whether it be a regular sandwich or one wrapped in lettuce or a wrap. This is really good on toast with laughing cow cheese. This is good paired with baked brie. This is such a great recipe. I promise if you make this cranberry sauce, you're never gonna go to the store and buy one out of a can again, because from start to finish, this took five minutes. If you try, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and have an awesome day.